Teeth marks. Do you see the teeth marks? 50 grams? That's more than one or two. Yellow metal deep in the hidden dragon pit. Could it be dragon scales? This is a place that has existed for thousands of years. Unexplored underground and this. The turbulent underground river seems to lead directly to the underworld. What kind of confusion has been covered by the heavy fog from the center of the earth? Today we will utilize professional rope technology. Go deep into it. Explore dragon legends. Are there any villagers in this hidden dragon pit? That's so scary to say. We will start abseiling at this time. Prepare to go to the bottom of the pit to find out what's going on. Let's see if the dragon really exists. Okay, let's not talk too much. Get started Geo. We have successfully driven the line to this hole. Now I'll drop a stone and take a look. What is the situation? My god is still ringing. Pioneer brother pal. Now let's start wiring. This is Tyndall Light. I prepared my safety belay and started my descent. I saw an Ophiopagan Japonicus plant next to the conservation station. This is very rare. This is the hidden dragon pit entrance. Wow. Already dropped to paragraph 2. The camera just fell down. I was hanging on the protection station at this time. Everyone must not imitate. There is a fast river beside here. That bright place is brother pal. Then going forward is a bottomless abyss. We continue to fall. Continuously dropped more than 150 meters. Now finally arrived. The third level platform of Hidden Dragon Pit. Found my lost camera. It fell like this. Brother Pal is still online now. Below this. Very profound. It's a big crack. We're all wearing protection. Everyone must not imitate. There are risks in the outdoors. Please don't imitate it. Okay, keep going. Professional SRT technology. Found one next to this descent point. Rock cabbage. There is very little sunlight down here. But this rock cabbage is still growing tenaciously. Very beautiful. Okay, let's continue descending. This level has to be lowered into this deep pool. I now have professional protection. Everyone must not imitate. In front of this is a narrow crack. That place with the flashlight. It is its fourth level platform. Let's keep going down. This place reminds me of Yamawangu. This is the sea. This gloomy wood. Judging from the petrified traces above. It must have been down for many years. Don't say a thousand years. It should have been around 800 years ago. Very strong. Go further. I don't know how deep it is yet. It was foggy at this time. Teammates are falling. Found a wonderful house here. There are stones built by people here. So amazing. There is actually something under this hidden dragon pit 2 to 300 meters deep. Man-made fortifications. Amazing. Now my teammates are at the front. We continue to fall. Let's just follow this current. Continue to move deeper into the cave. You can already see some stalactites in front. This is also artificially placed here. You can see that it has been jadeized. I don't know how many years this has been here. Let's take a look. Do you see it? Very solid. Those seniors actually dropped to this bottom. Two to three hundred meters deep. Oh my god. I don't know how many more shafts there are ahead. Let's move on. Brother Pal is opening the line at this time. This is professionally protected. Everyone must not imitate. There is a waterfall here. There is a waterfall. Pour down. It's not too high to go down here. Maybe about eight meters. There is a very narrow river in front of it. Keep going deeper. There is a deep pool below this. Almost 50 centimeters deep. Another cliff appeared in front of Brother Pal. Let's continue to lay out the rope. More than 20 meters. This kind of rope is more than 20 meters long and takes a lot of time. Do a good job of double protection. Let's take a look at the waterfall below. So spectacular. Brother Pal is still online. 
I don't know how deep it is down there. Cold or not? Brother Pow's little starlight. It's more than 30 or 40 meters down here. Maybe 60 or 70 meters high. Let's keep going down. Be sure not to imitate professional SRT technology. Professional equipment protection. Officials please be sure not to limit the current flow and start working. I from that position. Descended to the cliff in the middle. There is a small platform here. This is simply a water curtain cave. Brother Pow has now passed this water curtain. That's where we're going. Let's move on. It's already freezing. I feel like I'm hiccuping when I talk. What about this front? A narrow crack. This crack. It feels like there's no bottom. It's foggy anyway. Don't know how deep it is. Let me throw a stone and see. So cold. I go. Oh my god. This is still more than 100 meters away. Look here. What? Ha ha ha. Sang Wan Huang Sen came and found something good here. Oh my god. Put it here. Put it there. What's this? Oh my god. Awesome, right? See if there are any more. So many. The yellow metal found in the hidden dragon pit. I don't know what kind of substance this is, but make sure it's metal. I bite it, I bite it. Well, look at the tooth marks. Do you see the tooth marks? Yeah. Soft. Oh my god. Take a look, take a look. Hurry up. See if there is any. Take a look. So cold. How did you just find out? I'm here. You can see it at this glance. See reflection. Wow. Go quickly, it's very cold. So amazing. Then should we find a rope and continue descending? Look here. Xiao Bei found another one. This is heavy. Put it all here. Take a look, take a look. Here is one. I go. Wash it, wash it. There are a lot of them up here. This is a backwater bank. So cold, so cold. Put it here. There should be a lot more in this water. This is a place millions of years ago. Mysterious caves that have been inhabited by humans since the Stone Age. Located in Zhuchang Town, Bijie, China. Known as Niu Bi Dong. The cave is deep and long. Running through several villages. Stone tools found inside. Countless fossilized clay pots. The tunnel structure is rare. Only the golden autumn and august can complete the journey. If you want to shoot in real scene. Must be in a rare window period. Follow my lens and immediately go into the cave to find out what's going on. There are prickly pears seen at the entrance of the cave. The entrance to the cave is in this direction. At this time, we officially entered the main entrance of Niobe Cave. This is its main tunnel. There's another hole over there. I just flew a drone. I saw the cave entrance with a big stone. Go straight to the depths of the cave. You can see the hole. And this sunma grass. It's what Gui Ju calls Hoama. It is said that this cave can lead to the other side of the mountain. I don't know how many kilometers it took to wear it out. The humidity inside the cave is very high. You can see the top of this cave. There is this stalactite growing from top to bottom. A pool appeared. Everyone, look at this stone wall. There is a clear dividing line. It should be during the rainy season. Where we stand now, there should be one or two meters of water. Let's move on. At this time, the tunnel started to go up. There is this. Pottery sherds. This. Because it's too small. I don't know what animal skeleton it is. Yeah. 
The water is quite clear. Pretty. There's no aquatic life here. Let's move on. Go from here. It is said that this cave was built in the Paleolithic age. Our ancestors lived there. Once in 1983. This was unearthed inside. Polished stone tools. Remaining ruins. So this cave really has a long history. This cave is very big. Maybe two or three hundred square meters. It's almost 15 meters high. There is this one in the middle of the hall. Pillar nest. There should have been a pillar here. Got it up like this. This is enough to show that there used to be buildings here. And there are so many on this earth. This pottery fragment. There are many. Everywhere. While exploring, you must pay attention to the bottom of your feet. That's a lot of bones. Thousands of years ago, ancestors captured this wild animal. Captured wild beasts. Bake it inside and eat it. Okay, let's move on. There is a cliff in front of this. It seems quite high when you go down. This cave started to go down. You can see there seems to be a pool down here. Green, green. There is mud in front. There is a huge stalactite here. There is a water source on this, at this location. This should be beautiful. Come and fight. What about this front? There is a huge stone, blocked in the middle of this cave. Does it look like a ship setting sail? If this, during the wet season, the water reaches the bottom of the boat, that would be more like, very beautiful. This is the underground river. What it looks like after drying, it's all mud down there. Let's keep moving along this river. At this location of Xiangyang Station, there is an obvious water level on this one. Almost 1.3 meters tall, because Xiangyang is over 1 meter tall. We can see that water line. Ha ha. No joke, that one is almost 1.8 meters tall. There is such a water level. Maybe it gets flooded during the flood season. Look at the sedimentary soil on this ground. It's already stained with saltpeter powder. It has a primitive feeling. Many people ask me what saltpeter is. This white powder is saltpeter. Our ancestors. He got this dirt over. Mix it with saltpeter to filter out the nitrate powder. Then look at this place. There are steps here. Foggy. But I can see there's a cavity in this one. We're going to climb up from here now. To enter the cave above. Go keep moving forward. You can see there's a rope here. A rope goes up like this. Xiangyang goes first as the vanguard. There's a rope on top of this. So very safe. Xiangyang and I passed this safety rope. We've come up and set up a protection station here. We can see that. There is still a very large cavity above this. Once upon a time, this cave was covered by a network of water in the middle. If you stop it, you can see this obvious. This fire tunnel is right below where we are now. So, if you want to penetrate this hole, you must take the upper tunnel. There are three of us now. They all came up from this cliff very safely. We can see the cavity up here. Still very flat, wide and tall. There are many edge rock dams on this ground. Did you see it? But it has dried up now. If there is water, must be very beautiful. Keep going. Many beautiful stalactites. The stalactites have dried up. It looks like, still seems mysterious, very beautiful. This is a stalactite made of limestone.
there are still traces of it being broken by someone else. Very beautiful. Is there a battery here? Here comes another cliff. There is another cliff here. Oh my god. I don't know how high it will be if I go down here. Feeling so mysterious. And what about people who used to explore caves? The rope is laid here. What is this? This still seems to be. Wires or water pipes. I'm really impressed by the rope system of this cloth. This? Not safe. We make our own rope. Now we are here. I read it this security system. Still a natural anchor point for doing. It's safer to go on like this. Come down from this. You can see there is a water level decomposition line here. This place was also flooded in the past. Big discovery, big discovery. Look what I found in this dirt. This stone axe. This should be from the Neolithic age. Ancestors are here. Made this stone axe. This is obviously man-made. This one is pretty sharp down there. This can make a handle. Now teammates are falling. There's a walkway here. From the side of this canyon. Go all the way deep into the cave. Come from this canyon. It's become very flat here again. The cave is so big you can't even imagine it. Because the strong light flashlight can't illuminate its entire picture. The ground is covered with nitrate. The whole ground is very flat. This may be because of the water flow. The sedimentary soil inside. Washed to a very level state. It's good to play basketball there. There are many such troughs on the ground. This is because of this. The air humidity inside the cave is very high. What about the small water droplets condensed on the roof of the cave? Overwhelmed and dripping onto this ground. So over the years. This creates this uneven scene. Everyone follow the direction of my finger and look there. There is a small ditch here. This goes on forever. But this is the water that goes upstream. Usually during the rainy season it flows over there like this. That canyon we just passed. Okay, now that we've finished reading this, let's move on. Where are we going now? On the ground. A vast expanse of white. It looks like a paddy field where it snowed just now. It's very artistic and feels very beautiful. The top and bottom of the cave are both very level. It's very comfortable to walk on. This place is so beautiful. If there wasn't heavy fog, can I show you this panorama? You must be immersive here. Only then can you feel its shock. Walk through that paddy field. Now the tunnel starts to go up and rocks appear. There are also bats flying and we are most likely. It's time to walk to the exit. Because it's right here all the way here. Bats appeared. It's possible that the bats flew in from another cave. This cave is quite deep. What a stone gate. Did you see it right there? It's like a wall magazine. This is naturally occurring. There are three floors inside. It seems like there was a person who built the stones manually. There's a charcoal fire on top. Written words. Continue to go deeper. Keep going. Now we are heading towards the upper reaches of this ancient riverbed. You can see there is water in this cave. This cave was formed by erosion over many years. The entire cave structure is very stable. There was a loud echo when we talked inside. It feels very windy here. The stone is drying, the stone is drying. We should be arriving at the exit soon. If you find this stone in the cave, 
Sudden dryness over a large area. Just explain. Away from its window or its exit. Not far away. Now you can speed up your pace. Looking for it can connect to the outside world. Do you see it? Is my analysis correct? Right. There's an exit over there. Come quickly and find the exit. Go ahead. Is this traveling across the earth again? Yes or no? Oh my god. Let's go out now. Take a look at what the scene is like outside. This place, this place. If I were to plan it. You can definitely get one in this place. Build a cave hotel like that. Or build a basketball court. Because the ground is very flat. And the space is very large. The cave structure inside. It is also very stable. It's like a big Buddha. This is different from the last time we were in Peng Shui. Chongqing Peng Shui Sangzi. The moon cave we encountered is very similar. As above. Hanging like bacon. There are bones on the ground. Let's move on. Here comes the exit of Niobe Cave. You can see there are three city walls at the exit here. The seal is very thick. Let's stand on that city wall now. Take a look at what the scene is like on the other side of the mountain. This tunnel is about two kilometers long. That's right, that's right. This most likely proves this. Niobe Cave. Immortals once lived here. Okay, let's take a look at what the scene looks like outside the cave. Go through the cow nose hole. In front of this is a large field of farmland. There is a cliff path here. You can walk up like this. But I don't know where this will lead. We decided to go back the same way we came. You can see that people often walk here. What about this meta sequoia forest? There is a sheep intestine trail in the middle. And from here. As can be seen. At that time, this side of Niobe Cave. It's sealed by a city wall. In other words, this is a retreat. It was once tightly blocked. At the time. The ancestors may have lived there for many years. Because this fortification is extremely complicated to build. Particularly complex. There are many paper trees growing on the city wall. And some ferns. There is also a melon basket vine in this place. This melon basket is a traditional Chinese medicine. What about the fruit on it? It's called guazu. Its root is called trichosanths trichosanths. There is that. 18 against China. Trichosanths Niger. Among them, trichosanths trichosanths is the one mentioned. Alright, after reading this, we are ready to return the way we came. This bull nose hole has been completely discovered. Nyobi Dong in this issue. The exploration video ends here. Follow me to show you more beautiful scenery. Take you to experience a different adventure trip. See you in the next video. Bye bye.